uh, Index Corporation. I'm a uh, multi-spindle applications engineer. Um, right now I'm standing in front of a MS40-8. Um, and this is the part that we're making. It's uh, similar to a, a, a aerospace connector. Um, but we've decided to go ahead and, and put it onto a uh, MS40-8 as a demo. Um, so I wanted to kind of explain uh, a little bit about the machine just to give you a brief overview. So uh, next to me is the uh, Siemens controller that we use. Um, it's really user-friendly. Uh, after normally a week uh, of training, the operators feel comfortable enough to be able to take this control and work with it. Um, it's a very powerful control. Um, it has to be to be able to handle the amount of axes that we have within the machine. Um, so I'm going to go inside the machine and we're going to kind of show you uh, how we're processing this part, what we're doing in each position, and some of the capabilities that we we have within our machine. So I'm going to go ahead and start the machine up. Um, the one thing that we normally do in our first position is we, uh, we feed out against a solid stop. Uh, because this machine is set up to just trace parts, uh, because it is a demo, you won't see the feed out, but the rest of the operations you will be able to see. So in our first position here, um, we're going to rough groove the OD of the part. It's a, just a four millimeter groove tool. Um, this is 6061 aluminum that we're going to be using. Um, so we rough groove the OD and then we come in with a drill, drill out the ID, um, just rough it, and then we finish bore the ID of the part with a, a boring bar. <clears throat> So in our next position, we're going to finish turn the OD of the part, uh, finish turn the threaded or the, the thread major, um, and then you'll see us come in with a boring bar, and we're going to thread the OD of the part with a boring bar. And then we're going to rough groove the ID of the part with just a two millimeter grooving tool. In our next position that's coming up here, we're going to use an X and C axis transmit uh, with one of our live tool uh, stations to create some flats. Uh, so we can mill any type of contour um, with this as long as the tool can come in from the face of the part. Uh, so we'll do that and then we come in with a just a drill and we drill out the front flange of this part. So, our next position here, we come in and we use our y-axis to mill flats on the OD of this part. So as you can see, we're using the c-axis of the spindle and the rotation around our quill to create a y-axis. So then we come in after that and we broach the ID. Now we're not using any special broaching tool, this is just a horn broaching. Um, using our CNC uh, slide, and then we rough turn the back of the part. In this next position, we are finished grooving the uh, ID grooves of this part. Um, so boring operations, drilling operations, all of that could be, could be done in this position. And then we're putting in some cross holes. So we're doing some live tool work again, and we're, we're putting in some cross holes of uh, onto this part. In our next position here, um, we're engraving the front. So if you had uh, part numbering or or uh, anything along that along those lines that you wanted to be able to, to engrave onto your part, we have that capability in our machine in a cycle. Um, so we don't have to have a processor to be able to engrave. Uh, so we engrave and then now you're watching it and we're uh, simply deburring the OD flange of this. 
in our last position, uh, you'll see it come up on the next one. We come in, we use our synchron to come in and grab the part, and then we cut off, and then our synchrons allow us to swing to our back working positions. So the benefit of a multi-spindle is uh, we take the parts and uh, move the parts throughout the tools. Instead of like a twin spindle where we move the tools to the part, in this machine, we're moving the parts to the, to the tools, which then allows us to s separate the amount of time it takes to make a part. So a part like this, uh, just estimating would be maybe a minute and a half on a twin spindle machine. Um, on this machine, we're running it right at about uh, 20, 20 seconds or so. So in our last position, we cut off, we bore, uh, we thread. We do have live tool capabilities on the back working. Um, and so I hope you found some of this information beneficial. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to one of our regional sales managers and they'll talk about the specifications of some of our multi-spindle line. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank William for that uh, demonstration on the machine. And to introduce myself, my name is Mike Dyer. I'm the regional sales manager for Index in the eastern half of the Midwest as well as the Deep South. And I'll be doing a brief PowerPoint presentation on the MS40-8. And there'll be opportunities at the end uh, for us to have a brief discussion if there are any questions. So this is the uh, MS40-8 multi-spindle lathe. You can see the nice wide uh, opening there in the front, easy access. The ideal part for this machine typically is one that can fit in your hand. Uh, you know, it's not too long. Uh, length and diameter ratio of about 3.5 to 1 or less. Decent volumes of lot size of 5,000 or more are ideal. Uh, if you have live tool work that's required on your parts, this is a good machine for it. And uh, if you have a part that has tight tolerances, lots of call outs, concentricity, uh, it's a part that you don't want to be moving from machine to machine. The fact that you can do it in a single setup, uh, there are huge benefits there for you. The machine is designed to replace up to six machines. The capabilities of this machine uh, allow you to make the same amount of production rates that typically you can get out of a single spindle machines in quantities of four or six machines uh, can be matched by a single MS40-8. It's an easy way to increase your capacity without adding square feet to your facility or taking up a lot of uh, floor space or hiring additional operators. And it also simplifies your process control. It's very simple to uh, uh, program in spite of what it looks like. It's uh, actually quite simple. Uh, you basically have eight two-axis machines. The MS40-8 is also designed, uh, as are most multi-spindles, to give you the lowest cost per part. It dramatic increases in product productivity will reduce your per-piece shop rate and labor costs by a factor of up to six or more. And producing lots on a single machine reduces your cost related to quality, energy, logistics, manpower, programming, work and process, pretty extensive um, array of areas where you, you save a lot of money per part with a multi-spindle. And despite the higher initial investment, multi-spindles do pay for themselves faster than single spindle machines. Uh, usually as a result of just the sheer volume of parts that you're uh, creating off the machine. Get maximum process stability with uh, the index multi-spindles. Our machine construction maximizes uh, vibration dampening. Uh, we have a sp uh, spindle turret design that eliminates the transfer of vibration between the spindles. We utilize a, a three-piece herp coupling, which gives you outstanding accuracy and repeatability and reliability. Uh, we have hydrostatic bushing supports on our Z-axis to keep them free of friction, no wear, maintenance-free, and zero backlash. There's a lot of flexibility in how you can set up an MS40-8. We have uh, 16 tool slides that can be configured with X, Y, or Z uh, Z-axis. Uh, the Y is available on up to four 
axes on the machine at a time. Up to 14 of those positions are available for back working. Every uh, spindle position has a independently controlled C axis with 7,000 RPM. And the machine can be configured as a either a double drop machine utilizing three front working spindles and one rear working spindle uh, times two. So you get the productivity of two four spindle machines, or you can use it as a single eight, eight spindle machine uh, with a single uh, synchronous or synchron spindle for your back working. Uh, the MS40 is the second to the largest uh, of the multi spindles in the index portfolio, uh, by uh, the name of the machine, that 40 tells you it's a 40 millimeter through hole with eight spindles. Each spindle is 7,000 RPM uh, with 24 uh, kilowatts power, a very powerful machine for its size class, and with high torque, 57 newton meters. Again, 16 tool carriers and up to uh, seven tools can be used for rear working. At this time, if there are any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. And thank you for your time.